Hey, what's going on, everybody? Game of Vibes 95 here, and guys, it's finally here. It's finally in my hands. Sonic Mania. Oh my god, it's been long. But, um, have nothing more but great things to say, and we're actually gonna get started. Wanna say that I'm actually doing a giveaway for this game, so you guys can enter for a chance to win a copy. All you gotta do is like leave a comment down below and by the end of this LP I will choose a winner but um so far we're kicking things off in Angel Island oh my god Sonic looks so good HD 60 FPS Chris great look who's stealing something today yeah the doctor Eggman's back well Looks like uh, time traveling is going to be part of this, but no matter, rehash, old hash, whatever hash, it's Green Hill Zone, and it looks great. Let's go. Alright, so, so far from last year when I pretty much was doing the full coverage, following up on it, from the 25th anniversary party, and to find out that Taxman, Christian Whitehead, was doing this. I was astounded and actually happy that Sega decided to uh, give this guy a chance to create a whole new 2D Sonic game from the ground up, as you can say. But from the actual trailer, from the reveal, it said uh, reimagined classic. As you can see, we're in Green Hell Zone, but you know. He managed to pull off some amazing things. Actually, he made a fan game back in the day called uh, Sonic Retro, where kind of he created his own engine and pretty much, you know, put a stamp saying that I'm here, I know how to create Sonic games, and I know how to make great, make great Sonic games. So, so far, he hasn't disappointed. He's actually redone the mobile versions of one Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic CD, so I'm happy that Sega went along and got him along for this project. But we're gonna come into our first mini boss, which was actually revealed at the uh, 25th anniversary party for some people who got a chance to go play it, aka Chum Zone Gaming ENT. I see you brother. Yeah you got your hands on this but um it's cool. You got first dips to play, but now I got my hands on it, and we're going to actually have some fun with this. I actually want to see if you can actually uh, pull off some cool speed runs. I'm challenging you, brother. But um, we managed to get through Act 1 right here. Nice little transition. As you can see, we're getting ready to go into from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which I actually like that Taxman and Simon from Pagoda West Games and Head Cannon when the whole team came together you guys did an amazing job and as you can see right here we're entering into a different part of Green Hill Zone which has never been seen I mean to the public's eye honestly <clears throat> excuse me and pretty much I guess these guys got their hands on some um old blueprints and some old back screenshots but um making a return is the blue sphere so no more mm, no more chaos emeralds here unfortunately which kind of sucks because this looks amazing really it does I mean full scale like I said 60 fps crisp blue spheres and it's an HD I would love to see what the chaos emeralds will look like in here with a full, how this actually looks like a full remake of the Blue Spheres, but a man can only dream, but the only thing that you will get out of this so far is um pretty much either gold or silver medals. The only way you can get a gold medal out of here is if you get everything, meaning spheres and rings, and get a perfect to uh, get the gold. But if you get silver by getting all the blue spheres and leaving a few rings behind, then yeah, 
so choice is really up to you if you want to go gold and be perfect go ahead if you want to go and be silver it's quite up to you honestly but we managed to snag our first gold medal right here and we're back into the action so yeah i i i can't stress enough even that the music for this game is a lot of did an amazing job on this soundtrack. I mean, just the fact that he was able to go back and bring it back, it just makes it feel like it's the actual first Sonic the Hedgehog game. Well, with this level, it feels like it was the music. I mean, T, what did you do? I mean, did you did you go back and actually dig from the master system? And maybe even the game gear and took some of them sounds because my dude on point nice honestly jeez I mean you should get a Grammy for this honestly Grammy of the year Sonic Mania soundtrack I'm calling it right now although it won't happen but it should but I digress I mean so far we're coming up close I believe to <sighs> kind of a sweet and interesting uh, concept boss. I mean, I, I would have never thought of this. Never. If I was a game developer and in these guys' shoes, I would have never in a million years thought about doing this. And unfortunately, I managed to lose a hundred and some odd rings. But yeah, we'll just keep on moving on. And this is what I meant. Why would the Death Egg be in Green Hill Zone, honestly? That's my opinion, but you know, I just, you know, I would never, would have never thought of this, but you know, as you can see, Christian and the team was very creative, but we're gonna try to keep away, we got zero rings, and we need to stay alive, and I honestly don't want to. Yeah, but we're gonna see if we can beat Eggman here. Tails is gonna help us out with a couple more hits. He throws a damn bomb and Tails gets the last hit. Fucking A. Well, we managed to put Eggman down for the time being. And we're gonna actually take this capsule. So, uh, thank you guys for watching so much. This is Gamer Vibes 95 signing off saying keep on gaming, keep on vibing. We'll continue on next time with part two and see what the doctor has up his sleeve this time around. Take care. Have a great day, people. Bye.